Hi everybody, Ricky here from Behind the Bars TV. Hope everybody is fit and well. In this episode, I'm going to talk about Charles Bronson and his rejection from the parole board. So today, it's just been made public that Charles Bronson is not being released by the parole board. But a lot of you that's been following my channel would say over the past few weeks, done quite a lot of videos on this topic because everybody who's interested in prison stories, um, even the general public who know nothing about prison, is interested in Charles Bronson and interested in his story. And that's the simple fact because he's Britain's most notorious prisoner, or he was, and he's the most, should I say, infamous slash famous prisoner. Obviously, he's got a book out and everything. Um, not just his book, sorry, he's got video. Uh, the movie out, sorry, Bronson. But um, I've just been reading up on it before in The Guardian and it hasn't given away much apart from that he's been knocked back on his parole. And a second option, which was to go for open conditions, which is category D, has also been knocked back. So he's basically not been given anything from his parole board. I thought at least he might have getting a Category C out of it and went to Cat C prison. But he's going to remain as a Cat A prisoner in Woodhill prison. He's in the unit still. And what normally happens is when you get a knockback from the parole board, it's normally for either 12, 18 months or 24 months. And I'm not sure how long this is. It's normally every 12 months they do a review. But the only hope for Charles now is in the next 12 months, um, he goes up on his cat ear review because every year category ear prisoners have what's called a cat ear review to try and get off the book. So hopefully um, he might have a review coming up soon. Then he can try and get off the book. Then he can get down to category B. And then when he comes around for a parole here and again, he'll have a better chance. But what he needs to do is get moved to a Category B prison. That's when he gets Cat B, sorry. He needs to go to a Category B prison. Show them that he can be... Uh, what should I say? Show them that he can behave whilst he's in a Cat B environment. Then get Cat C. Or he could get fast-tracked from Woodhill as a Cat B prisoner down to Cat C. It all depends how they want to play it. But that can actually happen before you get to your parole board. Um, normally it does happen on a parole board, but you can get downgraded, like I've just mentioned, from the Home Office, get his Cat A review, get his Cat B, and then get Cat C. Everyone had the hopes pinned on them getting released, but when I've done the podcast with Kev Lane, and me and Kev talked about it, obviously we know what happens in the system and we know what happens with parole boards. There was no chance he was going to be getting released anyway, so it didn't come as much of a shock to me. But what did come as a bit of a shock was knowing that he hasn't been given anything, no bit of hope at all, which seems highly unfair, but I don't really know the case and I don't know how he's been acting in prison. And that's what it all comes down to. But I did read that it said there was no, there was no prison officers and there was no healthcare officers like psychiatrists or anything recommending them for release. So like I say, it didn't come as a surprise. So hopefully he's just going to have to knuckle down and do what he has to do to get released and come up for his parole hearing as a category B prisoner, because there's no chance you're getting anything as a cat ear. He needs to go on a proper wing, get off the unit, go on to a proper wing, and show that he can behave amongst the other inmates, then get down to a cat C, and then that's his only bit of hope he's ever going to have to come out into the free world. Otherwise, he's going to die in prison. He's 70 year old now, so it's going to take him a few years to get progress down before he's eligible or before he's fit for release. But this is what he's going to have to do he knows what he has to do. He just maybe thought he was going to get the easy way by going from a cutier unit straight to open prisons or release. 
But I think he knew, or he should know himself. He's done 48 years in prison. He would have still had his hopes built up, ready for the decision, hoping that he would have gotten something from it. But I can imagine how he must be feeling now. His hopes have been dashed. He'll be sitting back on the unit. Or left all alone with his thoughts, thinking about what he's going to do now for his future. But he's been through this a lot of times, so he'll know how to handle it. But uh, I wish him the best of luck for the future. Hopefully he can get his head down, get progress through the system and finally get released at some point. But I hope you enjoyed that video, people. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.